Howdy folks. It's about three in the afternoon on a real cloudy overcast day. It's not super hot. It's like 85. So, you know, decided I'm going to come fishing after work. But uh, I think we're going to have to do a little work to be able to fish. Because where I'm at, this is the only spot you can really get a line in the water. And it's a bit overgrown. Ugh, thorny bushes. Little little rough down here not a great area for landing fish or setting up rods but i like fishing under this bridge if it gets too rough though that i do have a backup plan but for now i'm gonna try it here which means i got a little something to do to make it fishable all right first things first let's wade through all my crap and get my hacking stuff, always handy to have some gloves around in the Jeep. Never know when you might need that. Get those on. And then another tool is a machete. Never know when you might need that. So, let's go see if we can't clear us a little room here right quick. This little bit, not too bad for just coming up and down, but it's a little bit in the way. I bet I can just bend it around. All right, now down here, I need to be here so I can go out there. So let's find the base of our plants here. Never seen this area so danged overgrown. And you'd think, with all the lack of rain we've had until essentially today, it wouldn't have been that bad. But no. Everything's just grown up and unkept. I'd get a little further in. Gotta clear some of this away from the water because my poles need to go this way. rest of that at least a little bit but it's a little ways out of my reach shoes are getting wet all right I think I've got a nice clear landing zone for the fish as long as they don't get too dang squirrely I can keep them right through here. Let's go get our stuff, get a rod set up, maybe two. We'll see how the first one goes, but I've got two. Quick side note, this little cheap Ozark Trail machete, not the toughest. I barely hit any rocks, it's got a really good ding in it right there. But, still be useful for later on. Alright, what do I need out of here? This rod. Alright, that'll be my secondary rod because it's rigged up kind of weird. This is my main rod, which is rigged up fairly regularly. I need my backpack. I need the shrimp. I need the net. And to not litter. Remember folks? Don't litter. Come back if we decide we want you. See how it goes down there first. Let's find a good spot. How's that? Oh yeah, that goes in just fine. Lines up just fine. Got a little bit of shrimp with me. Brought it to work, kept it in the freezer. Cause I thought today might just be fishy. It is very, very frozen. Come on. All right, well, you know what thaws out shrimp real good? Putting it in the water. There we go. That worked. Let's. 
Oh, I forgot how small of a hook I have on here. Well, if it doesn't work very well, we'll uh, change it out. I forgot I was, uh, was catching real small catfish the other day off camera. Hopefully, that little hook can still get the job done. So I'm gonna whip this way over there. All right, set it on up. With the current, it should work out just fine. Now essentially we just wait. It wasn't so overgrown, I try to fish around the shore a bit, but I just don't think there's much point, so so I'll just go get my chair. Well, I got my chair. I decided to go for a second rod, but the only other rod holder I have is this contraption. Funky little thing it is, which hopefully will work out right here. Not quite. Hitting some rocks. Pinching my fingers. Uh -huh. Try to find a good spot for this thing. Go up a little. There we go. That'll sink it in. Alright. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way enough. And this cocks down. And what we have here is an automatic hook setter. Which, with what I got this thing rigged up, probably be pretty useful. I got another small hook on this guy, but I've also got it rigged up some stupid fashion here. What's going on? There we go. Wait right through there. So I've got the weight under the hook, but also it's not a circle hook. It's also very small. We may have to change all these out. But we'll just toss that on there. I'm not going to whip this out quite as far. I'm going to keep it kind of, yeah, over here by the pillar. That sink down. And then we slide this in. I probably didn't do a good job showing this off to start with, but see here there's this little trigger. So I need to tighten up my line. Then get the plant off it. I am just doing a bang up job for setup today. Come on. When we bring our line back and we put it on the trigger so the fish pulls on it, it should set the hook for us. In theory. Did that just get tapped? Yeah. Play a nice little tab. It seems like it might be a turtle. That's yeah, it's definitely seems like a turtle. With that small hook I got. That may not be ideal. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna completely re-rig this thing. I'm gonna set it up the way I normally have it because that system just works way better. And uh, I'm gonna put on a bigger hook. There's no sense in having two tiny little hooks out there. Throw that out for some chum kind of near my other line. All right, this spot sucks, which pisses me off because usually when the water's high, but moving more than this, I guess, this spot's actually pretty decent, but not today. I've gotten that one turtle bite I uh, re-rigged my stuff. Actually, didn't put much bigger hook on there, but it's big enough. But I haven't gotten any action since then. It's been like an hour and a half. So we're going to pack up. And we're just going to move up river to the dam. Hopefully it's not super crowded. Hopefully there is fish there to catch. And I can at least show you how this works. Lines on there. It gets pulled. Set. Alright, we're at the dam. I just walked across it. Now I gotta come down this little path here. They got two gates open now. It's been open for oh, about three weeks. Looking at the lake, I'd say the overall lake level is down probably around seven feet. 
which not too bad I wonder how long it's gonna take to drain all the way I was betting they had to open up that other gate because the flow was slacking off which gives me a little less area to fish in because I can't really throw over the big bunch of current but I think we'll do all right I did all right I was here a couple days ago I had intended to film but everyone was crowding me out and I get self-conscious around other people so uh, I didn't but I did catch a nine pound carp here a couple little catfish so there's some pictures somewhere up in here now I am hopeful that today might result in something hopefully similarly entertaining let's get set up Put the bag down the bag is our rod holder here got my rods that are all tangled now they're untangled get our shrimp break one of these guys in half Get a nice piece of shrimp on there, and we're going to throw it right over to the current on the edge of it. That's about perfect. And then we're just going to prop it up on our bag here and hope it doesn't get pulled in. That's the plan. All right, let's grab our other one. With our little hook. This is why I had these little hooks rigged up. So I was fishing here and the bites were not big. But that nine pound catfish came on this little rig and hook right here. So, you know, you don't need a giant hook to catch big fish. Nine pound carp, I don't remember what I just said. Anyway, that's gonna go right there. We're gonna prop it up on our bag as well. Try to space them out a little and there we go. Now I sit here and I wait and I hope until I get frustrated enough to leave. This was getting tapped. Yep, there's a tap. Come on. That didn't take very long. Let's see if I can get him out of the current now. There we go. You know, it always seems when I get here, my first fish is fairly quick. Oh no. Oh, this guy's giving me a bit of a fight. My other one just got hit. Come on. Oh man, maybe I should have brought my net. I didn't think I'd catch anything too substantial. What oh, do I got here? Ooh, that's a nice drum. I'm not going to be able to land him by just flipping them up here so we are gonna have to bring in our other line so it doesn't get dragged away we're gonna have to go land them over there all right you come on I'm gonna need fish grips I'm gonna need pliers I'm going to need my phone. Walking down the pipe. Right over to here. Ugh. Already got my feet wet once today. Come here, bud. You swallowed that good, didn't you? Let's see if I can help you out. Well, I can see it. But I think it's too far down there for my pliers to reach it. If I can get them back out of my pocket. Yeah, I can't reach down far enough, so he's just going to have to keep it. Sorry, dude. But that is one of the best drums I've caught in a very long time. He's getting the picture. Ta-da! Alright, my guy. I'm going to let you go right back here. Oh, 
fun. There he goes. He got it figured out. Well, now I got to retie. Now my shoes and my socks are all wet, or at least more wet. All right, that took like two minutes. Maybe that's a good sign. There we go. What do we got here? That looks like a catfish to me. Pretty decent one. If. Oh yeah. Pretty decent indeed. My rod dangerously close to the water. All right. That fires. Let's get you unhooked, bud. You're not helping. You're hooked in there good. Almost got it. Almost got it. We're getting there. Yeah, there we go. Fish number two. Nice little channel cat. He's probably about maybe two pounds or so. That's a good fish. I'll take that. See ya, bud. Hi, right, two fish down. All of them coming on this rod. Hopefully my other rod gets a little action. I feel bad I neglect it these days. It used to be my favorite one until I got this. Seems like it could have been a fish. Nothing there now though. There's something. There was something there, he just wasn't moving. No, it's on a snag. Now that's a fish. Now it's a snag. I can't, I can't tell. Let me give it some line, see what happens. Came out, whatever was going on. Definitely looked like something grabbed a hold of it. Get a fresh out there. That's just current. Well, maybe not. That was pretty deep bend. Pretty sure it's just current though. Nothing there. That's just current. Nope. Nope. It's fish. Ha! Ah, another drum. Hey, bud. You got hooked way better than the last one. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice and easy. Whoop. Ooh. me into a rock. Crap. Well, I don't feel like retying this. Ugh. So I guess this one's retired and we got one rod left to catch us one last fish before we give up. Come here, last hope. Go over there.
That also went right into a rock. Well, I guess that's it for the day then. Yep, that'll do it. Well, that'll do it. We well, yeah, started off kind of rough. I guess it was kind of big hopes of mine to clear that spot out and catch some fish. I've had good luck at that bridge before. But it was ultimately a waste of time. Well, ugh. luckily, ugh. the dam produces. And it's been pretty consistent every time I come here. I managed to catch a couple fish. I'm breaking off there. Probably the best because folks are starting to show up. I already got someone down on the pipe taking over where I was. There was a group of guys up here on the dam, but they've decided to start working their way down to the pipe. And I got this guy on the other side over here. So, too many people coming around. Good time to leave. I'm hungry anyway. So, I'm going to go get some Subway, I think. That's close by. Nice chicken teriyaki with some sweet onion sauce. Maybe some barbecue sauce that they got it. And then, uh, I guess that's it. I'll uh, catch y'all next time.